Hello there, you're watching Dansky, and in this video, we're going to cover how to professionally mock up your designs in Photoshop. And whilst I will be using a stock image for this demonstration, if you would like to follow along, you can find a similar image that you can download for free in the video description. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start with, I've opened the JPEG in Photoshop and I'm gonna select the rectangle tool, click anywhere and enter the dimensions of my design. So this is 375 by 812 for the iPhone. And I'm gonna set the stroke to none and give this a bright color fill. It doesn't matter what color, Next, I'm going to move this into the middle and you can see it's a little bit too small. So I'm going to right click this in the layers panel and select convert to smart object. Now I can double click this and go inside the smart object. Go to image down to canvas size and then after these values type asterisk 3. This is going to multiply these dimensions by three times. And I'm doing this because I have a high res photograph and I want my design to be nice and crisp. So I'm going to scale this up proportionally and then save this file and jump back to the main document. And you can see it's now got a lot bigger. And I can actually resize this in here as well by going to edit and down to free transform. Hold shift and scale from one of the corners. And you can also hold alt or option to scale to or from the center. Now I'm gonna position this here and size this up so it covers all of the phone's display. Now once that's done, I'm gonna hide this layer, select the background, zoom in nice and close, and then go up to some of Photoshop selection tools. So we have object selection, quick selection, and magic wand selection. We'll start with the magic wand, click in here, nice and easy. However, if I zoom in, you can see the selection doesn't quite cover all of the white. So I'm gonna to go to select, modify, and expand, start with a small value, and gradually expand this out by one pixel at a time, just until we're covering more of the white. Now, when I mask my design, I don't want the edge to be too hard. So I'm gonna repeat this, but instead go to feather, and select one pixel. This will soften the edge ever so slightly and just gives it a slightly more realistic look. Next, I'm gonna zoom in and select the quick selection tool. Photoshop did a pretty good job with the magic wand tool, but we just need to refine this selection here just to help it out with the finger a little bit. This takes a few seconds, just check around the edges. Yep, all looks good. Now with this selection, I can select the smart object, turn it back on and select the add layer mask icon from the bottom of the layers panel. And I'm gonna give this a layer name just to keep everything nice and organized. Now the fun bit, double click the thumbnail of the smart object and then get your design into that PSB file. So you can see here, I've got mine open in Photoshop, so I'm just going to duplicate it into that file. If you're in XD or Illustrator, you can copy and paste, export, import, whatever you need to do, and then just resize this to fit the canvas. Save and close. And you'll see your design is now added to the device and you can zoom in just to check everything looks good. We can turn it off or back on for no apparent reason. And the beauty of this is you can double click the smart object, make changes, add new designs in, save and close, and it will update that in the main document. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So if you did enjoy this one, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Take care, and I'll see you next time.